Um, now let's turn to a Halloween heist. Hundreds of pumpkins stolen from a farm in St. Clair County. The crooks cleaned out McCallum's Orchard and Cider Mill in the town of Jado and Grant Township. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chowdhury shows us why the farmer believes it's much more than just a dirty trick. Every single pumpkin was taken out of there. Ray Peltier has owned McCollum's Orchard and Cider Mill in Grant Township for just two years. It's a family-owned 80-acre farm that focuses on family fun. It's rich in history dating back to the 1930s, but something happened here last week that's a disappointing first. Just shocking. The police had never heard of this. The insurance had never heard of this. At least 350 pumpkins were stolen early Monday morning between the hours of 2 a.m. and 7 a.m. I couldn't do it that quick. That number doesn't even include the pumpkin patch. This used to be a sea of orange. Now it's just green. And that has Ray seeing red. Mind-boggling to think how it can be taken that fast. It wasn't a just uh, two guys in a little truck. Ray and the staff didn't even realize the pumpkins were missing until hours later. I thought you moved the pumpkins and I thought you moved the pumpkins. Ray says the thieves, or as I would like to call them, the Jerko lanterns, carefully took the pumpkins, not breaking the stems. He thinks they are trying to sell them, which could go for up to $10 each. This year, the farm battled a drought, making the theft even more upsetting. Our people lost sleep because they don't see it as a pumpkin. They see it as all their efforts. The pumpkins were meant for painting and making pies they sell in the shop. We're talking about thousands of dollars worth. As Ray hopes the thieves go from orange fruit to orange jumpsuits, he's now getting help from other local farms, giving them some of their pumpkins to use for activities. It gives you goosebumps with these people helping. Again, Ray believes at least 350 pumpkins were stolen, but that number could double because they haven't finished assessing the entire pumpkin patch. But he does want our viewers to know that they are open for business with other fall activities. In Grand Township, I'm Simon Chowdhury for 7 Action News.